leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazen Amdekanu has written to the British High Commissioner in Nigeria, Katrina Lange, asking that the British authorities file a diplomatic note with Nigeria's Federal High Court indicating Britain's sovereign interest in its trial as a British citizen. Kanu, in the letter exclusively obtained Sarah reporters and written by his legal counsel, Aloy Ijimako, on Thursday said the British authorities must declare that he is not a criminal but a person who possesses a political opinion which the Nigeria authorities are seeking to suppress using punishment of some of some sorts. The IPO leader was arrested and detained since Sunday with the Department of State Services in Abuja and been had been taken to court in chains and handcuffs while his trials was adjourned to July twenty sixth. In a copy of the letter to the high to the UK High Commissioner made available to Sahara reporters on Thursday night, Ijimako retreated that Kano, being a British citizen, did not travel with a Nigerian passport to Kenya, where he was abducted. Ijimako, in the letter titled Urgent Request for Consular Assistance to Oku Kano, Nwane Kenyi, Namdi Kenyi, a British citizen, established Lega, a political and diplomatic reasons to defend the pro-Biafra secessionist leader. He also established that there was no extant order of extradition by any British court that was officially processed to deport Kanu from Kenya to Nigeria. He therefore asked the British government to demand the release of Kanu urgently. The letter reads, We are solicitor to the above-named British citizen on whose behalf an instruction will write this letter to request urgent consular assistance to him. Mr. Oku Kanu, aka Namde Kanu, is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and director of Radio Biafra, both of which are corporate citizens of the United Kingdom. Mr. Kanu resided in the United Kingdom, from which saw he departed on an overseas trip on or about June, 20, June 19, 2021, on a British passport. Okay, we are reliably informed that while he was on said overseas travel, he was intercepted in Kenya by Nigeria's foreign security agents and brought to Nigeria agents against his will on or about June 27, 2021, and arraigned before the Federal High Court in Abuja without the benefit of cancer on June 29, 2021. Currently, he is being detained in the dictatorial of state security services dss custody in abuja your excellency permit us to point to a few legal political and diplomatic issues that have been implicated in this matter they are mr kanu is a british citizen traveling on a valid british passport when he was seized in a third country and forcibly brought to nigeria such an act constitutes an unlawful rendition of a bona fide British citizen. He was not traveling on Nigerian passport or the passport of any other country, including that of Kenya. There is no extant order of extradition which, by including Kenya, and we are informed that no pending extradition proceedings are standing against him in Britain or Kenya. There is no deportation order by any Kenya court or other authority that made him subject to deportation. But if there was, the country of his deportation should have been Britain on which passport he was traveling with. Deporting him to Nigeria just because he was born in Nigeria but not traveling on her passport is unlawful under international law. The enterprise upon which Mr. Kanu is engaged, which is seeking the restoration of the defunct state of Biafra through a referendum, is a protected political opinion. That is self-determination under British and Nigerian laws, where it is enacted as Cap A9, Article 20, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. In our view, the manner of his interception and forcible deportation to Nigeria is extra legal and does not comport with the pertinent international laws and treaties to which Nigeria is subject. Ijimako also 
asked the British authorities to view Kanu as a political prisoner entitled to a set of political opinions and not a criminal. Based on the foregoing, we hereby make the following prayers that Mr. Kanu be granted every possible consular assistance to which he is entitled as a British citizen, that Mr. Kanu be categorized as a high-profile political prisoner or a prisoner of conscience and be thus rendered the highest diplomatic protection under municipal and international laws, that the Nigerian authorities be prevailed upon to immediately allow access to Mr. Kanu by his lawyers, doctors and family members, that the Nigerian authorities be prevailed upon to immediately avail Mr. Kanu the opportunity of being taken to an hospital of his choice for medical examination. That the British authorities file a diplomatic note or other legal processes with Nigeria's Federal High Court and the Office of the Attorney General of Nigeria, include indicating a sovereign interest in Mr. Kanu's matter. That the British authorities declare that Mr. Kanu is not a criminal but a person who possesses a political opinion, the Nigeria authorities seek to suppress using punishment of some sort that the British authorities urgently demand the unconditional release of Mr. Kanu from detention. Why we await your urgent and most favorable considerations of our prayers. Please be assured of our highest esteem for your excellency, the High Commission and the British government, the letter added. Well, if you want to go by law now, because Nigeria government is making mass, yes, uh, with the help of uh, the international collaboration, it is evil. You know that it is it is not the right thing. Why would you go? He did not go there. Of course, with that alone, he didn't travel with a Nigeria passport. And what kind of extradition? He does not have any delays with uh, Kenya. So let them take it up from there. Because this whole thing uh, is not clear. That is why they hid the whole thing. They didn't want people to know. So the man was uh, abducted. He was kidnapped from that country. Okay. He holds two passports. Okay. Now this is Abu Sadr. Don't come. He holds two passports, which means he has two sovereign states. So when he was in the UK, Nigeria has no business with him being in his country. The UK and now that he's in Nigeria, the Britain must have no business with him being in his second country. That is what uh, this one is saying. <laughs> Did he travel with a Zoop uh, passport? We shall see. We shall see. Someone is saying he's not a Nigeria and didn't concern to be a Nigeria and his country is Biafra. You are saying he owes two passports as if you have been the people stamping his points of entry in all the country he goes to. Nigeria passport expiry date is usually five years. I wonder who and what Buhari officials agreed to renew his Nigerian passport according to you. Well... Uh, it's a Biafra country. Uh, who is president of Biafra? Please go and study what traveling with foreign passports means. Do you think all the countries are Nigeria that they don't care for what happens to their citizens? Even Kenya is also in an international mess because if they don't want to accept him in their country, they are supposed to repatriate him back to the country he possesses their documents at the time is in Kenya, which is Britain and not Nigeria. Kenyan government has been sued already by lawyers in Britain. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this matter.